I hate you, Josh. You're the worst brother ever. Give me my phone. Leave me alone, dude. It's somewhere in here, isn't it? You take something of mine, I take something of yours. Evan, I didn't take your phone. I would never do that. Yes, you did. And this is what happens. Huh? Stop. Oh, that's a month's worth of work. That's for stealing my phone. No! Mom, you ran over my science project. Well, it shouldn't have been in the street. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're such a loser. Oh, what the heck, man? I can't believe you'd do that. You probably just lost your stupid phone again. Oh, just shut up. Huh. Ah, why did you do that? Because you suck. Mom! Why are you two fighting again? Josh stole my phone. No, I didn't. Evan just broke my science project. Josh, give him back his phone. I don't have it. Oh, wait, it's over here. <laughs> so stupid. Thanks for the help, Mom. Of course, honey. Why do you guys hate me so much? It's not fair. I don't hate you, Josh. Your brother just needs more attention. You know, when your brother was born, he was very sick. We weren't even sure if he would make it. It was the same disease your father had. I was scared for his life. And you've always been so smart, especially with science. Evan got really jealous seeing all the attention you got. So I had to give him more. Well, it's not my fault that he can't stand on his own two feet. You got to stop babying him so much. So you should help your brother. No, even if I helped him, he wouldn't care. This expects everything. And you guys are so hard on me. It's not right. But whatever, I'll show you guys. I can't believe it. You totally missed the assignment. I know, Mr. Brady. I And now you're probably going to fail this scholarship spot as well, aren't you? You're just wasting your potential. Please, just give me some more time to make it up. I, I promise I won't let you down. You know what? Class is over. Get out of here. I I'm sick of this anyway. Dude, I'm sorry you got in trouble because your stupid brother smashed your science project. I just don't understand why he hates me so much. All I want is to become a doctor so I can cure the disease that he has. And you would think that he would care. It's all about him all the time. And he's not even as sick as my dad was. Well, man, you just gotta work super hard through all this then. Hey, are you two nerds talking about stupid science again? Yeah, Evan, we are. You know, science, the thing that keeps you alive because of your medicine? That's what I'm trying to do. Ugh, whatever. Just do my homework right now. I can't afford to fail another class. Why would we ever do your homework? You're always so mean to us. Shut up, nerd. You know what? That's it. Ha! Uh -huh! <laughs> what is going on out here? Mr. Brady, Josh punched me in the face. <laughs> what? No, I didn't. You were in a lot of trouble, let me tell you. Are you happy with yourself? Evan failed his assignments because you refused to help him and you punched your brother. What is wrong with you? First of all, he didn't ask for my help, Mom. He demanded it and I didn't punch him. It was Rupert. Everyone's tired of him being mean all the time. Why didn't you just help him? It would have only taken you a few minutes. Well, how's he ever gonna learn if I do everything for him? Come on, you know he hates science. Just give him what he wants, okay? No, also, what about my needs, okay? I don't like working hard all the time either, but I have to. It's not like he's sick anymore. The medicine's helped him. He's basically cured. The disease can come back at any time. How could you be so selfish? Not being selfish. I'm going to cure this disease myself one day, Mom. And when I do, it's going to change our lives and the lives of a lot of other people, too. And I need to get a scholarship first. Fine. You work on your scholarship. I'm going to take Evan out to the mall. He deserves something special after the terrible day he's had. No, thanks for your help, man. We're making a lot of progress on this project. Well, the deadline is coming up, so we gotta finish this fast. It's gonna be tight. We can't have any more setbacks or we'll miss it. Look, we won't. Just stay focused and worry about the timeline later. All right, all right. Well, then let's get to it. So, what are the results? Perfect. Well, at least it looks like it. Awesome. Well, we gotta submit it right now. Well, I just wanna double check anything. I'm gonna run it by Dr. Burke first. He'll know if we're on the right track. Hmm, all this looks pretty good, Josh, but you're missing a crucial component for this work. Oh, really? What is it? Is there still time for me to make the changes? Yeah, of course there is. All you need to do is just add some extra protein. You'll get an even better result. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Because you didn't go to medical school yet. Yeah, that's my goal. I know that I'll get there someday, but it's not gonna be easy. I think you'll get there. You're on your way to becoming a fine doctor. 
I'm genuinely sorry I wasn't able to help your father. The hospital threatened to fire me because he couldn't pay. I know it's not your fault. That's why I'm going to do this. I want to become rich so everyone can get the help that they need. Well, I'll give you the protein you need for this project. Just be careful with it. This stuff doesn't grow on trees. Yeah, I promise. I will. Thanks for your help. Hey, nerd! Where'd you get all this stuff? I thought I broke it all. I need this for my scholarship project. Oh my gosh, you're such a loser. Thinking you're gonna become a big rich doctor someday? Dude, put that down. Stop. I'm gonna win that scholarship with my own project. What are you talking about, man? You haven't even started your project. I don't have time for this, man. The deadline's approaching. Ugh, whatever. Uh-oh. No, you're the worst. Oh my gosh, whatever. I don't care. I just hate you. I don't have time to start over. I just hope this is enough now for me to win. What are you doing now, Josh? I need to go and submit the scholarship piece. I can get it right. I can get into Bloxburg University. You're still doing that? You think you're smarter than everyone, huh? Yeah, I think I am, Mom. Even though Evan tried to ruin everything. Evan isn't trying to sabotage you. Evan just shows his love in different ways. Why are you so hard on him? Yeah, whatever. Ever since Dad passed away and we found out that Evan had the same disease, you always put him before me. It's not fair. It's not as bad as it was with Dad. Look, Josh, Evan's needed different kinds of support than you have. I promise I'm doing my best for both of you. Look, I have to drop off Evan's paper so I can drop off whatever this science thing is too if you want. Uh, I guess, sure. Thanks. He really thinks he's smarter than me. Yeah? Well, I'm gonna show him who's the smart one. Just put my name right here. <laughs> Perfect. Now Josh is gonna pay for thinking I'm not gonna get into school. I called you here to give you the news of the scholarship, Josh. Oh, I got it? I, I can't believe it. I, I worked so hard. I can't wait to go to Bloxburg University. This is gonna be amazing. Uh, nope. <laughs> didn't say that, actually. You didn't win. What? Really? H how? I gotta say, I've been teaching for years, and I've never been so disappointed with a student in my entire life. I really thought even with that extra component, my, my paper would cut it. You wrote an entire paper about tigers, and not even like anything about science. You just wrote why they're the coolest animal in the world. N no, I didn't. That wasn't me. I wrote about the disease that my dad had. Yeah, 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 whatever. Life only opens these windows every once in a while, and you just let it slam shut, didn't you? But that wasn't my paper. It was my brother's. Your brother? Evan won the scholarship. Scholarship. He wrote an insightful paper about a disease that he's suffering from. No, 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 there's been a mix-up. Look, Josh, you need to learn to take responsibility for your failures. Otherwise, you're never gonna grow. But it wasn't my fault, I, I swear. Just embarrassing yourself. Why don't you get out of my office, okay? Life's not fair all the time. I knew you could do it. I am so proud of you. Yeah, thanks, Mom. I'm finally going to college. And you've done some terrible things. This might be the worst thing that you've ever done. You've got to be kidding me, Evan. Isn't this exciting? Evan won a scholarship to Bloxburg University. No, I won the scholarship to Bloxburg University. He stole my paper. Why are you always trying to ruin my moment, huh? I won because I'm smarter than you, and you just can't accept that. All right, show me the paper then. Fine, read it and weep, nerd. This was my project. You stole my work. You knew this was important to me. You think your college professors are going to listen to you whine about how you want stuff for free? They're not. No one's gonna care. It's the real world, man. Ugh, I didn't steal it. I knew you'd be jealous. Mom, what's wrong with him? Josh, don't take your frustrations out on your brother. There will be other scholarships for you. No, there isn't. Not like this one. How can you even let Evan do this to me? You know he's not smart enough to write that paper. My dream's to help people and make sure no one has to deal with what dad did. I don't understand how you don't take this more seriously when you actually have this disease. Oh, it's your dream to help people, huh? Well, I guess you're gonna need a new dream then. Cause this one belongs to me. Joshua Summers! You take your diploma and go! Uh, thanks? And next up is our star student, Evan Summers! Let's not forget, Evan's going to Bloxburg University on a full scholarship! Yeah, I did it. Can you believe it? <laughs> I'm so much smarter than everyone here, including my brother. Why can't you just be happy for your brother? Because he stole my project. Evan took away my chance to go to a really good college. Evan worked hard and deserves this, Josh. Now I know you guys really hate me. You don't want me to succeed. That's not 
roof. I just have to support both my children, and sometimes one of them needs more support than the other. Oh, whatever. You're right. I don't need either of you guys. I'm gonna do this on my own. You'll see how it ends up with him at Bloxburg University. Can't believe you're not going to school with me, dude. Yeah, I know, Rupert. I guess you'll have to go on your own now. But what if my roommate sucks? What if he's a slob? Or what if he snores? Trust me, man. I wish I could go with you. All I've done is work towards this goal, but it's been taken away from me. Well, just because you're not going to the school doesn't mean you can't actually go there. Wait, what are you talking about? Look, that school is massive. One of my lecture classes has over 100 people in it. You could easily just show up, sit in a seat, and no one would ever know you're not enrolled. Oh, seriously? Oh, that would be amazing. I mean, I still need to graduate officially, but this means I can actually start learning now. Exactly. And I'll I'll keep you secret, but only on one condition. Well, yeah, sure, what? You help me with my homework. You're way smarter than me, after all. <laughs> Fine, yeah. Whatever, man. I'm always down to help you out. Josh, I've heard about your scholarship situation. I'm really sorry. You deserved it. You worked super hard. Yeah, well, it's not your problem, Dr. Burke. I mean, my mom and Evan, I, I've grown used to the disappointments, but I I'll figure it out at some point. I actually might have some good news for you. Oh, seriously? I could use some good news. This hospital offers another scholarship for aspiring doctors. It's not as big and fancy as the one from the university, but I think it could be a start. Really? Yeah, what would I have to do? Well, part of it's based on a research paper, which you've already written. But the more challenging part is that you have to shadow real doctors, observing patient interactions, answering questions, Questions, all things like that. I've been preparing for medical school for years now. I'm ready. I'm down to do this. Ha, <laughs> that's the spirit. With your determination, I bet you'll succeed. Dude, I can't believe that this is finally happening. This is gonna be awesome, dude. Just wait and see. Are you sure I'm not gonna get noticed? Ah, uh, trust me. No one has any idea who you even are. Josh, what are you doing here? Uh, I'm just sitting in on the class with Rupert. You shouldn't be here. Well, you didn't really earn your scholarship, so you shouldn't be here either. Shut up, loser. Well, what seems to be the issue here? He's trying to sneak into class and learn for free. Professor, that's not true. I let him sit in and see if he likes the subject. Uh, it's just a friendly gesture. Yeah, I plan on being a student here next year. If my most esteemed student believes you shouldn't be here, then you must leave. Get out of here. You're joking, right? This is a university, not a clown school. And let me remind you, sneaking into classes is not just against university policy, it's illegal. I'll ensure that you're banned from setting foot here ever again. Now, sorry for the interruption, students. Back to our lecture. Wow, oh, great. You know, I'm doing all this for you, Evan. And this is how you repay me? Yeah, it is. I'm so done with this. Yeah, so am I. Get out of my classroom. I don't know what you want me to do about it, Josh. I'm just sick and tired of letting Evan treat me like this. I know, Josh. And for you standing up for him. You let him hate me. You let him treat me like trash. You don't care at all. You know that I should be there. <sighs> Josh, you've always had so much potential, but this is Evan's chance to achieve something. Can't you just be there for him? Support him? Love him like brothers do? He never applies himself. He just expects people to do everything for him. And where do you think he got that idea? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are you seriously jealous of your brother? I can't believe you're being so selfish. Selfish? Me? You and Evan have ruined my future. Not only did I lose my spot at Bloxburg University, but now I'm banned from ever going there. Do you understand what that means? I love both of you equally. But both of you just have different needs. Oh, really? Allowing Evan to sacrifice my future so he can pretend to be smarter than me is what I need? Are you kidding me right now? It's not favoritism, Josh. There's other schools, other opportunities. But that was the best school. That's what you don't get. This was my one big chance to become a rich doctor so I could take that money and I could invest it in trying to cure this disease and help people. <sighs> Look. Evan's been asking for help at college, and, well, since you can't go, I need to visit him. Well, of course, Evan comes first. Good luck trying to find the cure for an incurable disease with a guy that can barely tie his shoes. All right, well, this is a great opportunity. I'm so excited. Uh, don't worry, Mr. Walters. You'll be back in fighting shape in no time. You know you're gonna make a great doctor one day. I've never been treated so well in my life. Doctors are always so mean. You know, you've shown unbelievable progress over this past month. You've definitely earned that scholarship. That's great, Dr. Burke, but I, uh, I can't accept it. What? Why not? Well, it'd be wasted on me. 
Uh, I've been banned from Bloxburg University. We give it to someone who can actually use it there. There are other schools than just Bloxburg University, Josh. Yeah, but that one's the best, and I want to be the best. What about the community college up the road? Th that scholarship would cover the entire tuition there, and it's a great starter school. You might be surprised, but that's actually where I started. Oh, really? Yeah, I grew up with a really poor family, and it was the only school I could afford at first. Every journey starts somewhere, and if you have the dedication and knowledge, there'll be nothing to set you back. All right, cool. I'll give it a shot. That's what I like to hear. Now, come on. We've got more patients to look after. Let's get to it. Dude, I can't believe you're actually going to graduate from that college early. Man, time flies. Yeah, I know. I'm going to apply to medical school soon. Dr. Burke's been really cool to me, man. He really helped me. Yeah, and then you're probably going to graduate medical school even faster. Yeah, exactly, man. Plus, I've had more time to continue my research on the disease, and I think I'm actually starting to make a breakthrough. Dude, I'm so proud of you. Once I'm done with medical school, I'll be able to help you out too. Hey, you! Oh, he's gonna kick me off of campus. Have you seen this person? Uh, yeah, it's my brother. Why, is he in trouble? No, I want his autograph. Of course he is! He's been skipping classes and he needs to see the dean as soon as possible. Well, I haven't seen him in like a month or so. Oh, great. Well, if you see him, let him know. Kid's gonna get himself into some serious trouble. <laughs> oh, honey, please don't cry. You can't tell me what to do, Mom! Hey, Mom, I gotta talk to you about... Not now, Josh. I've been put on academic probation. I can't pass any of my classes. Maybe it's a good thing that you're here. Evan really needs your help at school. Well, Rupert told me that Evan hasn't been going to classes. Maybe he should start with that. Classes are so boring. Besides, why should I go when you can do it all for me? Why would I ever help you with the classes you should be taking? First of all, you got me banned from that school. And Evan, this is the real world, man. Mom's not going to be there to hold your hand through life. He's your brother, Josh. He's asking for your help. Oh, cool. Well, did he ask me when he decided to steal my project and ruin my future? Ugh, whatever. I thought you'd understand. Josh, please. Understand, you tried to take my future away. All I've been trying to do this whole time is find a cure for a disease that our dad died from. Ugh, you suck, I hate you. Mom, I'm sorry. He did it to himself and I'm not fixing it this time. He's on his own. Josh, I'm glad you're here. I just got off the phone with the dean of my old medical school. Cool, what'd he say? You're in, Josh. You've been accepted into the program. Wow, that's incredible. I can't wait to start helping people. This is amazing. Speaking of amazing, I've been reviewing your work. You've made a lot of progress. You're really dedicated to finding this cure. Well, thanks, Dr. Burr. You've been a huge help and a mentor for me. And I think your father, uh, I think he'd be really proud of the man you've become. Yeah, I, uh, I hope so. I won't consider myself done until I find the cure for this disease. I bet you'll find that cure in no time. Mom, you're here. Guess what? I have some awesome news. I don't have time for this, Josh. What? What's wrong? Because of you, Evan got kicked out of Bloxburg University. So how is that my fault? You could have helped him, but you chose not to. But what lesson would Evan have learned if I helped him? Can't go through life expecting to be handed everything on a silver platter. Make it sound like he asked for this illness not what I meant. I've been working so hard, and I've never gotten anything but resentment from both of you guys. You need to stop saying we hate you. It's not true, Josh. Oh, yeah? Where were you when I needed you? Oh, that's right. You were holding Evan's hand through everything. Thanks for your support, Mom. If this is how you guys are going to treat me, then I'm done. I'm going to become a doctor in a few years and finally accomplish what I wanted to do, and I did it without both of you. So I don't need you anymore. Congratulations, Josh. You graduated medical school early. I am incredibly proud of you for never giving up. Well, thanks. But, I mean, my work's just getting started. I had a feeling you'd say that, which is why I came here. I want to offer you a job at my hospital. Oh, are you serious? Absolutely. You'll have unlimited resources and access to our labs. Anything you need. My gosh, I don't know what to say. This is incredible. Well, you've earned it, Josh, and you won't be doing it alone. Rupert can join? Of course. He's been approved as well. I know how close you two are. And having both of you will be a great asset to our team. Well, thank you so much. I, I won't let you down. I, I promise. I won't let anybody down. I'm going to do this for my dad and, and Evan too. And I'm going to make everyone proud. I promise. 
After all these years, we're finally back at it. Working together. Dude, this feels awesome. I know. Except this time we're actually medical professionals, which is wild. We're not just fumbling around, not knowing what we were doing. Hey, speak for yourself. I wasn't fumbling around. Oh, yeah? Who broke the most test tubes and beakers, man? Dude, I'm just clumsy sometimes. What do you want from me? I don't know. I'm just glad to have you back, man. This is the breakthrough that we've been waiting for. Hey, have you talked to your family lately? I bet they're excited about this. No, I haven't talked to them. Not since Evan was kicked out of school. Whoa, that was like a while ago. Yeah, five years ago. You know, look, I need to focus on this cure, Rupert. I'll worry about them once we've made better progress. Well, if I'm not mistaken, I think this should be it. I think this is the cure. Well, we're just going to have to wait and see. Hello? Oh, Mom? What's going on? Josh, you, you need to come home right away. Well, I don't care what you think, Mom. I'm taking the car, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Oh, hey, Evan. Shut up, loser. I still hate you. Well, guess not much has changed, Mom. Why am I here? And why is he so upset this time? I told him I couldn't afford to buy him a car. Okay, and that's how he reacts? What is his problem? It's his disease. It's back, Josh. Came back? He's in a lot of pain. And the treatments, they're so expensive. I wanted you to come by and get your old things you'd like to keep. I have to sell everything. You don't have to do that. I can help out. I'm starting to make really good money now. I don't understand what's happened to him. Ever since he was kicked out, he's changed. I've never expected him to act this way. I did. Joshua! What, it's true. After all these years, you've coddled him, letting him believe the world revolved around him. I mean, this is what it turns out to be, Mom. I know. I'm just... I'm scared. It's like what happened to your father all over again. Look, regardless of how much Evan hates me, I don't care. I'm a doctor, and I set out to help people, and I want to help my family. I'm going to find a cure for this, Mom, I promise. No one should have to suffer through this type of stuff. This is my first attempt to cure someone with this disease using this particular compound. It hasn't been tested on humans yet. I need you guys both to know that there's risks with this. I can't promise you that it's going to work. We discussed it. I'm willing to take the risk. I want to go through with it. I can't imagine my life without him, Doc. We're brothers after all. Whatever happens, uh, we face it together. All right, let's do this. It's really fast acting. You should start feeling something right about now. How are you feeling? Oh, I actually feel better already. Wait, really? Yeah, I, I feel my energy coming back. It's, it's incredible. You're a genius, Doc. It worked, you did it. Let's not get our hopes up yet. Let's monitor your progress, okay? Yeah, anything you say, Dr. Summers. This is a really promising start. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to present this award to Dr. Josh Summers. Wow, thanks, Dr. Burke. This, this means the world to me. I don't even know what to say. Dr. Summers, Tyler, Tyler Tingley with Channel 7 News. Now that you've achieved this level of recognition, with all the fame and millions of dollars, what are your plans? Well, I lost my father to this disease. And my brother's still fighting it. I always wanted to make sure that everyone had access to this treatment to make sure no one was denied the care they deserved. No one in this world should have to endure the pain of losing a loved one to this illness. This is just the start. The profits this generates, I'm going to open a hospital where no one will get denied medical attention. And I couldn't have done this without my mentor, Dr. Berg. You've got a brilliant mind, Josh. I have no doubt you could have done it on your own. But I'm glad to have been a part of this journey with you. Well, that's great. I'm glad that you guys are happy. This doctor is doing some doctor stuff. This doctor is also doing some doctor stuff. Saving the world one day at a time. Evan, please. This cure is going to help you. It, it'll clear everything up. I'm not taking that. Why not? Because you made it and I hate you. Evan Anthony Summer. No, look at him, Mom. Now that he's all rich and has this miracle cure, he thinks he can just hold it over my head. He thinks he's better than me. Stop acting like a spoiled brat, dude. This isn't about me. It's about saving your life. No, it's not. It's about me, and I don't want your dumb fake cure. Evan, please. Josh is only trying to help you. He's a doctor. You need to listen to him. I promise, Evan. I can make everything better. Just trust me. No, I'm not going to trust you. And I'm not listening to either of you. I hate you both. Just get out. Get out of my room. Oh, Josh. This is all my fault. What do you mean? 
He's the one that's refusing treatment. I never should have favored Evan the way I did at your expense. I realize that now. Well, there's nothing we can do about that now. That's why we can't reach him. That's why he's acting like this. He's just being impossible. Who refuses a cure for a disease? Yeah, I know. You know, I always grew up thinking that you hated me. But in a way, it was kind of good. It pushed me to succeed. It wasn't all bad. I wish that I could get through to him, you know? Your father. He was always so good at talking to Evan. If only he were here now. I wish Dad was here too. This is the reason that I've been doing all this. I want to make him proud. He would be so proud of you, Josh. For everything you've accomplished. But because of my actions, I, I feel like I'm going to lose both of my sons. You didn't lose me yet, Mom. I, I forgive you, okay? I just want to help. It's all I've ever wanted. Please, just do what you can to help your brother. I'll try. I promise. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for being here today. Let me introduce you all to my best friend, Rupert. He's going to be the head of medicine here at our new hospital. Thanks, Josh. I can't express how thankful I am to you and everything you've done. Not just for me, but for everybody else. Well, I appreciate it, but it's not about me. But this hospital is going to change lives. You know, if something like this existed years ago, my dad might still be with us today. I want to make sure no one else is ever put in that situation. Thanks to you, Josh, you're going to change the world of medicine forever. Mom, is everything okay? Why are you here? Josh, it's Evan. He... he's not going to make it through the night. Are you sure? Positive. I just got a call from the hospital. But we have the cure. Why won't he take it? He thinks he'll just gloat about it. Hold it over him. He says he'd rather die than feel like he hasn't accomplished anything on his own. What the heck is wrong with him? This isn't about accomplishments, it's his life. I know. I tried to talk to him, but he wouldn't listen. He just hung up on me. Let me talk to him. I won't let him act like this anymore. Well then, I'm coming with you. Evan, do you see how stupid this is? For the hundredth time, I'm not taking this cure. You're the one that's stupid. I don't care what happens. Evan, listen to me for once. We already lost dad. Can't bear to lose somebody else we love, okay? Not to the same thing, but it doesn't have to be like this. You just want this to be about you, don't you? No, what the heck is wrong with you, man? If it makes you feel any better, Rupert made the cure too. A bunch of other people helped out. It's not just me. Please, Evan, just accept the cure. For once in your life, stop being a baby and think about what's best for you. What's best for all of us. <sighs> okay, okay, fine. Wait, really? Yes. If it's gonna make him shut up and leave me alone, I'll take the cure. Probably won't even work anyways. Dad, yeah, just wait. Here, relax, all right? Gonna be painful for a second, and now... Whoa, I... I'm feeling better already? 